Yes, Nzinga, can you hear me? We are here at the Yan Fenun, the West Coast Yan Fenun, where you can see that, um, you know, school is out. These are just some of the learners that go to this particular school, um, Nzinga. And uh, you can also see in the school premises is um, that uh, security um, of the MEC. So the MEC is also still here. He did say that he would be engaging with uh, educators after his engagement with learners. That's what we saw um, earlier on, uh, you know, just before 12 o'clock, he had that engagement with uh, learners of the school where he made promises to them, we understand that he had said to them he would come back and give a report, a report to learners um, as early as Friday this week where learners will be getting that report. But also, uh, we also know that there is that parents meeting that is taking place here tomorrow evening at uh, 6 o'clock in the evening, 1800 hours, parents will gather here. Um, you know, we wonder if that will actually happen. As you know, earlier on we saw, you know, those tensions uh, across the color lines between white and black parents at this particular school. Will this meeting happen tomorrow? Will they be able to find each other? Will they be able to sit under one roof and come to some sort of consensus? But we also did hear the MEC saying that, you know, they're dealing with racism here. It is what it is. It is racism. And, um, you know, non-racial uh, people who do not subscribe to non-racialism in this country will not, uh, you know, will not fare well. But he also said that he would be taking this up with the Human Rights Commission. But also importantly, what did come up here was issues of sexual assault, allegations by learners that um, they, you know, they were victims of sexual assault. He said that he would be dealing with this uh, immediately, saying that he is engaging uh, the South African police services on that particular matter. They will be sending out teams here to do a full investigation of that because that for him is quite important. But the MEC also saying that let parents not be in a, in, you know, in a, in a situation where they teach their children that violence is normal. We saw him calling for peace, but also saying that tomorrow morning he wants to see school continuing here. Yeah. Uh, as to whether that's going to happen, we'll definitely be here to see. We did see that there was private security that had been hired um, by the school. as supposed to try and keep the calm. Here in Zinga, as you saw, the scenes were, were, you know, it was very tense, violent scenes that we saw here earlier uh, in the morning. But for now, it seems school is out. Although there are some people that are still here, a little bit of, um, you know, those road closures. I see that uh, the police, uh, police, the you know, police members are cleaning out um, the streets. I think just to try and get traffic back to normal. But also some a little bit of learners and I suppose some parents still, uh, you know, on the street. But in terms of that official, uh, you know, report back by the MEC that did happen and he did say, can parents meet with him tomorrow uh, at six o'clock in the evening? But he expects schooling. He expects schooling to continue.